Day two, by the way, of playing a Banish deck in the meta, and a new booster pack has come out, and the ban list has just become live. Um, this new booster pack has got some interesting stuff in. So it's got the new Red Dragon Archfiend stuff, which I have played against quite a few times. This seems to be the most popular thing from this pack. Uh, kind of nutty, some of the stuff it can do now. Um, it's not broken or anything, but it's quite surprising how much... The Red Dragon Archfiend cards can actually do now. It's kind of surprising. I haven't played a single Earthbound Immortal deck yet, which is such a shame. This will probably be me ending up playing this. This is how we get to experience this. But I hope we play some Earthbound Immortal at some point. Would be kind of cool. Um, who just said they were going to play this? Someone in chat. Who was this? Was it Tomias? No. I can't find it. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't even know what it is. Cool name though, it defies the darkness. Sick. Tokusano, I don't know anything about that as well. Uh, this thing I know, this is like the main card people been pulling for. Um, I've only seen it played so far, I think, in Labyrinth, and I think it's insane. Like, you can just dump it in the graveyard. It's kind of nutty. Does it, it gets the graveyard effect to make. You can banish this card from your graveyard, pay half your life points, target one normal trap in your graveyard. This effect becomes that card's activation effect. Yeah, that's insane. Any card that can just like become another card and not pay any costs or something like that. It's just, I don't know. I think it's insane. I don't like it, but we'll see how things go. Uh, yep, yeah, the ban list is live. I am... Up in the world, I think overall I am winning more than I'm losing. There might be some losses on here though. Loss, win, win, triple loss, double win, double loss, double win, one loss, double win, one loss, double win, two loss. I've had some decent wins. We're, we're getting up there. We're getting up there in diamond. Uh, this is the banished deck I'm currently playing with. It is, I think it's the same as when you saw it last time. The only things that have, ups have upset me while playing this so far is drawing shifter not on the first turn obviously in a 60 card deck that's gonna happen a lot but i just banish it away with allure if that happens but it is a shame uh, i haven't that shifted um i've won with zero cards in my deck by the way um who was it against i can't remember who it was against they i i ran out of cards but i managed to win on that turn i was really proud of myself i think they were trying to deck me out as well so um a lot of extravagance is a bit sucky in this deck, I've realized, because if it resolves, I can't draw any more cards. So that turns off all my danger monsters draw abilities. You can still use their effects, but it can be a bit of a hindrance. And there's a few cards like that that some stuff doesn't work together, some stuff does. But I think overall, this is like one of my favorite cards, weirdly enough, in the deck. I have played against so many people now that just don't read Golden Castle of Stromberg. And they just attack and they just die. And it's funny because they always scoop. They do shame scoops because of that. It's pretty good. Um, I think there's a lot of wiggle room with how you can change the deck. Um, I have not gone into the galaxy stuff at all yet. I kind of want to take it out because I haven't even tried to learn it. That's probably my problem. I've had one opportunity to go into Pain Gainer. Yeah. Let's just try it. I'll, I'll see how I do. But the... The galaxy stuff, I just don't understand what I'm doing with it. Like, sometimes I don't know how to push for game if I haven't got enough stuff on. But I can get two level eights on the board. Not too not too bad. Necroface is good with alert. Oh, that's true. We're not using Necroface. No. There was a build of this deck that I saw that did have it in. But I didn't put it in. Shuffle back the face. Necroface can do that. That's pretty sick. Uh, I'm going to throw away my Kaiju. Oh, wait. They're both fire. Vanquish. Are you using Grand Marju? Yes. He's a cool looking monster. I, I don't like his little crown thing, but everything else looks good. Cool color scheme. Red and green. Just notice the purple. Hey, I started playing your hero deck in TCG, so there is no vert, but it's a good deck. Oh, thank you. There's some, like, new stuff you could probably throw in it now. Um, when, when did I play that? That was Christmas last year? No, Christmas the year before. There's a lot of new stuff you could put in. But I was happy with my build. It did well for me. 
It was good stuff. Any plans for the Red Dragon Archfiend deck? Not at the moment. But I mean, I could... I still need to play a Synchro deck, don't I? Synchro and Pendulum. We've never, like, fully committed to it. I've played, like, Malefic, which you do Synchro with. With the Malefic um, gears, but... Uh, Draglubion over Galaxy Eyes to push the game. I think so as well now. I think we play this all out and we swatch, swap the Galaxy stuff. Therefore, fire deck. Synchro Fish. What is part of the Dragalubion package? It's Dragalubion, Numeron Dragon, and what's that other dragon you have to have alongside it? The one that you you put underneath it. Heart it's Heart Earth, isn't it? It's just those two. Numeron Dragon and Dragalubion. Oh, I've got um What's his name? Har Harbinger, that's it. I was going to say, yeah, you can do that. I remember doing that. It just had to be a number, didn't it? Okay, that's Zan. I like Zombie Vampire in this. Sometimes I just use its effect and I get um, Grand Marju if I'm lucky. Super Heavy. No, I'm not playing Super Heavy. I don't want to. I can't do it. I've played against so much Super Heavy and stuff. Apologize for the huge message. Where is it? Oh. Hello. I have been lurking for a bit, trying to gather up some courage. Would it be okay if I asked you or chat some advice or opinions? As a newbie to Yu-Gi-Oh, if I would be bothering, though, I would profusely... But <laughs> no, that's absolutely fine. Ask away. You're completely new to Yu-Gi-Oh. I will descri I will say you're jumping in at the deep end. What do you want to know? How do you get started? What deck to pick first? Which anime to watch? What anime would you watch first? Probably... You might get a bad opinion of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you started with Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. Just watch Duel Monsters and then keep going. Rescue Hedgehog? Nice. GX is a good start. Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged first, yeah. Like, you're not really learning the game, are you? If you watch, like, Duel Monsters. I guess you kind of are in GX. In fact, yeah, I guess the more further down the line. Well, I guess you're not learning the 5Ds isn't really learning stuff. Oh, you're a huge fan of the anime. Okay, so you know the gist. So I'm not new as I could be, but the only TCG I've played is Magic the Gathering. So I don't really know what deck to build first. So, I've, so far, I've been playing Gaia for Nostalgia. I think that's the move. Um, pick decks that you do like and you know you're going to have fun with to start with. Just like... If Gaia the, Gaia the First Knight is your favorite monster, definitely start with a deck like that. Play some of the solo mode. But I mean, like, if you want to transition into ranked, yeah, you'll probably will have to play something a little bit different. But I mean... You can get away with a fun deck for a while. I don't know what deck I'd recommend. Sword Soul. Um, that's quite easy to obtain at the moment. I guess that's a, a decent entry level deck. Like it does quite a bit of stuff. You could really ruin people's day with that. And it's it can keep up. I don't know. Um, there's a few you could play. Like Salomon Great if you want to learn Link or something. Um, there's a lot going on here. Don't know. Don't play Numeron. Don't listen to him. Nothing wrong with playing what you like from the anime too. There are a lot of updated support cards. It's very true. 
few bells just got new support. Flame swordsman. All sorts. Now, I've just triggered the effect of everything. And I've just realized I've triggered the effect of the Vine Temple of the Snake Eye. And if they wanted to, they can bring back Promethean Princess. And I think Amphibious Swarm Ship's effect is now live. And I think Snake Eye's Flameberg's effect and Snake Eye's Oak's effect is also live. My god, Snake Eye's does too much. <laughs> Well, at least there's nothing on the field. Are you playing Soul Release? I did in the um in my Fright Fur deck I was. Not in this build, no. I needed to open my dimension shifter. Just learn and play Snake Eye. You can play Snake Eye, that might be the move. I already have Sword Soul. If possible, I'd like to have a sort of control aggro deck. This is what I do in Magic the Gathering. I also like it if my deck revolves around one of the O's. Original dual monster monsters for any decks like that. Oh, there's tons. You got um, uh, some some still need to come out. Like Flame Swordsman, I think will be really fun when that's in the game. But we should still need to get to that point, I think. You bell support suit. Oh no, that's not the original series. Sorry. Hmm. Dark Magician, true. Dark Magician, Blue Eyes. I wouldn't recommend Red Eyes. I wouldn't really recommend Blue Eyes or Dark Magician, really. But I think Dark Magician, you'll probably be more consistent with in a purer form. Blue Eyes, I think it'll start to depress you how much you need to move away from Blue Eyes to make the deck good. It's blowing out so badly. You know what? I forgot I was playing Vanquish then. Is that live? The cannot be destroyed. Yeah. You're this vanquish soul monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. And I can get rid of. Oh, these are snake eyes. I can get rid of those. Sure. That isn't a Vanquish Soul? Oh yeah, no it's not. <clears throat> so they're Vanquishless. Ah. Alright. I just keep triggering all their effects, don't I? If that's all I'm losing, that's absolutely fine with me. All right. I don't really want to banish Snake. Desires. All right. That's a healthy Grandma Jude the eyes I have now. Nice. Very cool. I gotta be careful with special summoning though. <laughs> yes. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You. If a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field while this card is in your graveyard, you can target one fire monster you control. There isn't one that he, he can't bring that back, right? It's not allowed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eight thousand damage, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, they have something in their hand still. Oh, I'm probably gonna lose. All 
No, they have something that I'm not going to like. Attack with that, and then I'll attack with the other one and get it banished. Go on, then. Okay, Imperm I can live with. Never mind. Alright, let's not play into Max C anymore, which I actually didn't know was live. You have the Muckcracker for Vela. I guess, yeah. Um, hmm. There's an, oh, yeah. Exodia got support, but it's not in Master at the moment. In the real world, yeah. You got the new Exodia cards. So, yeah, we got Exodia, Flame Swordsman deck. Dark Magician, Blue Eyes deck. Red Eyes, I wouldn't recommend it, though. Harpy deck. Needs more support, I think, Harpies. Uh, they've already got one boss monster. Um, Umi Control, Mako Tsunami deck. I'd say that's a very good deck. Uh, very control heavy. That's something. Um, you can make a Weevil deck. I don't know how good that would be, though. I don't know how good uh, a Weevil insect deck would be. Um, and the Shizu Ishtar deck, you can't really make anymore. Not that that was really an option. You just play some of the Shizu cards. Ignore that. That's, that's baloney. You could play an Egyptian God deck. You could play a, a Winged Dragon of Ra deck quite easily. You could play a Slifer deck. There isn't really a, an Obelisk deck, is there? Ah, I guess there is. You could play one of those. Umi Stun, you mean? Yeah, pretty much. Toons, yeah, Toon deck. I played a Toon deck. It was fun. They've got some weaknesses, but playable. They should expand the... Um, Odeon's deck, the um, the trap monsters, the Ap Apophis cards. You've got the one Apophis cards, and I think they've got an upgraded form now. But they need to make like a full trap hell deck. Will be sick. Flu obelisk, sick. Swamp deity. Oh, yeah, yeah, Gate Guardian deck. I would recommend Gate Guardians. Very, That's a beatdown deck. Um, very good. Just all about getting the three pieces of the Gate Guardians, either in your hand, field, or graveyard, and then fusing with them. Yeah, I'd recommend Gate Guardian. Yeah, cheap as well. Good point. Pale Zerg is great for Odeon. Yeah. I think that's a good lesson what Reacher said. Like, you can play whatever you want as long as you don't care about getting to the top of ranked. You can play anything. Or you can subject yourself to uh, to things like this. But you... With the some of the rogue decks that I play, like, you have to sort of tune them in a way that's like... You're moving away from, like, a pure build of it and you're putting in what you have to put in to make it meta-relevant. Which sometimes means stripping a lot of it away. Wow, they can't deal with uh, Eater of Millions? No way. Trap Tricks Master 1. Trap Tricks is good, though. I like Trap Tricks. Don't play Vehicroids. Consistent nostalgia deck. I'd go Gate Guardians then. I had a lot of fun with them recently. I thought they were good. He's trying to get his uh, attributes in his hand. Gate Guardian or Salomon Great? Salomon Great for a modern deck. Gate Guardians for Nostalgia Beatdown.
have you been some i've been okay i've been all right Was that the move? I'd love to get two level eights out. That's always been my dream. Thread the needle. Where are the dark worlds? No! I fudged up. Oh, sorry, this is the one I probably should have... Uh, yeah, this this is all part of the plan. I get a guaranteed level 8 this way. I forgot. I'm just curious, can he wipe my field? So we know he's got that. Maybe so oh, maybe he's hoping to draw what I just sent to the graveyard, a uh, Valius. Or has he got it now? Oh, no! I banished everything. <sighs> After attack the, the, the no. How embarrassing. My greed. I'm calling this one in. In L. That's the risk of extravagance. That wasn't extravagance. That was all me. <laughs> um, this was... Um, what's his name's effect? Where is he? Million Eater. Eater of millions. I was like, I need to get 10 monsters in the grave uh, banished. So I can have an 8,000 attack. Grand Marju. I was like, I don't care what I banish because every time I banish something in my extra deck, it just resets back to the start. So I have to keep sliding it over and it keeps doing this and it's annoying. So I just click willy nilly. I'm dead. When did he get 10 cards in his hand? That's a good point, yeah. Woof. Purple goo cow out the floor. I've just noticed. Are we on three losses? Two losses. Drag Lubion. One. Numeron. Two. All right, two cards got to go. Which is the? I don't. Even, I don't really rate this. We might as well keep it in for a little bit longer. Oof, or do we? I don't think I like it. Virtual World Shell Jaja. What can go? Which two galaxy monsters shall I cut? Prime Photon. Full Armor. Cypher. Cypher Blade. Cut them all. Phoenix? No, Phoenix is fine. It's good, Phoenix. Muckcracker? No, this thing can win me games sometimes. If I've got a Grand Marju Isa in the grave. Definitely not. One. Two. 
two. There we go. Spiders. I haven't actually used the spiders yet either. I hope they get some some play later. Maybe I could put a charmer in. Like a dark or something. Leave it like that for a bit. Scythe Dragon can go. They want to get rid of your good cards for when they duel you. Oh, I see. No, I don't know the Cypher combo. I don't know it at all. I think that's what's been letting me down with the um, the Galaxy stuff. I've, I've refused to learn it. I'm afraid of change <laughs> and learning new things. So I've missed out. That's my own fault. Hi, Sam. Willis, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. What's a good website for finding a deck list? Because I don't want to annoy you guys. It's, it's all right. Um, Master's All Meta is pretty good. Um, there's a, another website called Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Decks. That's not too bad. You just type in like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Deck. Insert deck name. Kind of cool, kind of cool. You have the u video, Sam. Looks like... A more fun Mechanko. It is a more fun Mechanko. Hmm. Are we in Metal at the here? We are... We're on our second duel, I think. And we're one loss in. If that's right. That sounds right. Um, I guess we kaiju slumber. I probably should keep the Gizmek Oroches just in case I get a danger monster and then they can they can be risked, sent to the grave. Copper Clown with a replay. We'll watch it after this as long as I don't forget. <laughs> I will try my best. Look at this. Look at my chat coming together, helping people start Yu-Gi-Oh. It's beautiful. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Love the Eclassio icon. Oh yeah, um, if you enter code MD, oh, what's the code? MD, Something 25 or something. You oh, YGO MD 25. You can get yourself a free Ecclesia icon and I think a wallpaper or something. Or enter code TGS dash anime. <laughs> For a free alternate, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Sleeve, thank you. Sleeves and an icon. YGO 25 MD. I got there in the end. And YGO 25 Dual Links. That's the one. Elixir, thank you. Where do I enter the code? Um, I think it's on settings. So if you're on the main menu, you go on settings. Uh, it's called like, it doesn't say redeem a code, I don't think. It says something else. It's not um, the, um, you know, the little event thing that's going on where you can get the Sword Soul stuff. I thought you put it in there, but it didn't let me. So it's not that. They should do content creator mates where we use a code to get chibi versions of you. I'd love that. <laughs> use code TGS for your free TGS chibi. <laughs> They'd never let me do that. If, if they did do that, I don't think I'd be a part of it, unfortunately. That would have been cool, though. They should do creator codes. I think a thousand people use my um, my friend code thing for the, the Sword Soul thing. 
I thought about like 50 people would use it. I was quite surprised how many used it. Never seen anybody activate Crimson Dragon to activate something. Was there a Crimson Dragon just on the field? Or did I just dream that? I'm dreaming things. This is a bit to deal with. Uh, this doesn't do anything. Good. This brings something back. Is there an IP in the graveyard or something? Nothing I need to worry about at the moment. Oh, this might become an IP. As long as there's nothing in my banish zone. Oof. Once per turn, if your opponent activates a spell slash trap. Yeah. This is Calamity Lock. So I have to quickly get rid of Crimson Dragon, basically. As long as I get into my main phase one. Nibiru, way too late to the party. I know, 60 card deck and now it appears. Ugh, all right. Whoa. I love cards that say your opponent is not allowed to play. So cool. Nice. The rest of this turn, your opponent can activate cards or effects on the field. Your opponent can activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. Cool. So I can still... Oof. Oof. I can't even use uh, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Um... I can stop one thing. I can even get rid of this. Does this do anything else or just sit as a 4,000 beat stick? Hmm. We're on. It's also a flame wing man. I've noticed. And I'm being maxied. My combo deck is being kept in check. I love it. Maybe they don't read the field spell. Mm. So the problem is, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to resolve it. They'll negate it with super heavy samurai benkai, I reckon. Oh, I can't even act. I can't even activate it. Ah, fun. All right, let's just pray they overcommit. They make five monsters and we profit. Now we can't even put it on the board. I got another Orochi actually. That's not too bad. I can maybe tank two attacks. They have a counter trap still. No. Do they? I'm getting cooked. Okay. Let's do piercing or something. This guy's like, I may maybe I should have done them with one in the hand in case they got a call by the grave. The same thing would have happened. They would have just banished the one in the graveyard, even if there was one in the hand. It was a lose lose. It was a lose lose. They knew what was up. That was fun. <sighs> Ban that Calamity Monster. So stupid. Your opponent cannot play. Also, they cannot respond to this card. Ugh. 
Wolfie, thank you very much for the sub. Hey, TGS, how did you feel about the 2004 event that happened recently? I thought it was fun. Um, I enjoyed it. I think... I think it made a nice event. I think it could have gone on a little bit longer. Um, like, been a proper festival. And I think that would have been perfect. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to play... What format was that? Like, GOAT? I wouldn't want to play GOAT all the time, personally. Don't get me wrong. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed seeing all the... The wacky decks people used to play and put together. There was a lot of floodgate -y stuff, which I think is what happens. Just loads of, like, sorts of really, like... Stall things and everything. Stall, stall decks, not floodgate decks, should I say. But still. Corporate Clan, thank you very much for the replay, by the way. But yeah, I hope they do it again with like like a 2006 era or something. Could be sick. All right. Super Heavy Samurai's pure versus Dark Magician. I assume it's pure. What just happened? Did you just merge with the opponent's monster or something? I was just going against this guy. A lot going on here. Guaranteed to my ass next turn. He's got it. Is this Dark Magician? Oh, I thought it was going to be Dark Magician Guild the Dragon Knights. Dark Magician the Dragon Knights. Okay. Thousand Knives. Whoa. What does this do? Piss in the Darkness? Oh, okay. All right, so this Super Heavy's in action. Dark Magician back. Piss in the Darkness. Is that actual Big Benkai? Oh no! Unlucky. I've never seen anyone play Pierce in the Darkness before, I don't know why. Dark cover. He's going through all the different Dark Magician ones. This is kind of cool. He's negated. Fair. Big boost. Piss in the darkness. Doing some work. And we can't affect the back row because of Eternal Soul. Eternal Soul's protecting the fusion monster. Fusion monster's protecting Eternal Soul. So we have to outpower it. We're making his Dark Cavalry stronger. Negated. Uh, Dalek451, new Dalek Emperor. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Been following you for a while of your videos. Never spoken before. Well, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you. Uh, well done keeping yourself alive, by the way, Corp Clan. Never negate. Stop their summons. <laughs> well done. We obtained Pearson. Mission complete. Pop Clown, thank you for the replay. Also, well done. I like an actual like fun door to go against. They're getting a bit of everything out. Soul Piercer doing the job. Which is ironic because they had Pierce in the Darkness. Mm. 
Oh, it's unsearchable, Pierce in the Darkness. Ah. You said Dalek wrong? Have you never seen... Oh! Dalek. Dalek, right? The, the, the robots. The Daleks. Exterminate. Dalek. Uh, fun fact, I've never watched Doctor Who. I know of Doctor Who. I know he has a sonic screwdriver. He reincarnates every three years. I forget how long it is. That's and that's the extent of my knowledge. There's a TARDIS, a TARDIS. Who? <laughs> Star Lord, man. <laughs> Love the new U Bell video. Uh, you're having a shit in your video but did you notice you bell holding Jaden in the art with her eternal soul i did i did you never mentioned it in your video but did you know did i not i thought i mentioned that at the end when i'm talking about eternal Etern when i'm talking about uh what's it called eternal forever like the the image you see Jaden in the thing and i'm like the artwork is referencing when she embraces Jaden at the end it was it was implied <laughs> Implied. Uh, no, I don't think I am playing Thrust. You gotta re-record the whole video now? No, I ain't doing that. I had to do that once for a video. That's, I, I made like a critical error in the scripts and then after I recorded it and then when I edited it, I'm like, no. I had to go back and like just edit loads of little bits to try and make it sound right. Insane. The coolest part <sighs> about the new Ubel cards is the fact that super polymerization is a part of their archetype, which is really cool. Fits the lore and everything. Um, it's that um, nightmare fawn. I forgot what it's called. The one that forces your opponent's monster to attack during the battle phase. Like that paired with Ubel, like the original form Ubel. Seems really good. As long as you get your opponent to enter the battle phase. Thinking they're safe and then you make it. Night Nightmare of Pain, yeah. Woofed. Dragon I can get away with a Harpy's Feather Duster? Activate this. Tribute that. Hmm. See what happens. I'm re I didn't really pay attention to what they were uh, uh, putting out there. They can't hug in response. No, hugging has to go into the. Right. How many summons are happening here? Nibiru might become live. Who knows? If I give him a huge token and take it back, that'd be great. One, two. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm. Does he have any Rexes in Grave? He has this one. We're going to banish. Sorry, we're going to get rid of. Oh, 
I want to be able to use effects, but I also don't want him blinking away. I'm going to regret that. I'm going to wish I uh, got rid of that. Actually, I can, I can take both. I'll take it. I can't afford to be interrupted at this point. It it hurt my self-esteem too much. Please don't be Ash Blossom. Okay, thank goodness. Ooh, um, I could gamble with that, or I could bring bring back IP and go for an access code talker. So many options. Um, sure. Let's see what we get. Hopefully I don't regret putting stuff in their graveyard. Mm, I can't win. Moral of the story. To revive Grand Marju. Grand Marju is in the grave. There's no Grand Marju in there. I regret that. Because I want to keep my field spell. Have they got Nibiru? What was that? That's okay with me. I like the idea of them actually attacking with a Nibiru token. That's huge. I oh, know I've got the huge Nibiru token. Ignore me. Crazy in the brain. It's okay. I have a 6,000 attack monster now. Nice. All they need to do is not pop off. Nice. I've won. Uh, I no, it depends on what that, what that is, actually. Oh, yeah, they had no battle phase. My bad. Oh. My deck. Is there one more Hextrude left in my deck? One's in my hand. One's in my grave. So... We can pop back row with bird. True. I can also do this. Oof. Oh, he's got me. The field spell. Oh. You destroy... That destroys something, I'm pretty sure. Can I be destroyed by card effects? If this card is... When this card is destroyed by battle, take one card on the field, destroy it. Attack that, destroys that. Attack that. Profit. Mm. All right. It'll just destroy my 6,000 attack monster. Just in case. Buy 
Hi, Nibiru Token. Where's my wing come? Okay. You know, I have a 3400 attack point Hextrude. I can't be attacked, but they they don't attack anyway. Right. Do they have a quick play spell to trigger their field spell's effect? Of course they do. <laughs> Add one runic card from your deck. Oh, it's the best one as well. Nice. Fashion Fire. Target special zone monster your opponent controls. Destroy it. Banish top two cards. Luckily, banishing works with my deck. Rosco, well done. The machines. Oh no, he's like super popping off. Oh no, wait, I've got, there's, a, there's a chance. There's a chance. My sweet baby rock. Good evening, TGS. Love the archetype videos on YouTube. By the way, did you make a video on the whole world legacy lore? No. It's too big. I'll do it one day, but that's not today. I'll do world legacy. I'll do dual terminal. No, I think I'll do the individual dual termi st terminal stories, and then I'll just try and combine it all into like one video or something. Ooh, it would be nice if I got... Do I get Gly Glyph's effect? No? Ah, oh, that'd have been nice. Do it. I'm gonna have a big rock. Oh, would it be weird if I put it in attack? Hoping that they don't read my field spell. Like, like it looks like I made a mistake. Oh no, I've put it in defense. Whoops. Yes. Yes. No. No. <laughs> oh, they can't attack me anyway. What have I done? Never mind. Yeah, no battle phase. I've just realized. I wonder if they would have. Would they have done it? That's the mental breakdown video. Yeah. If I try and do the Dogmatica, the whole like Despia lore as well. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. The boulder is having conflicted feelings about crushing a bunch of fur hire monsters. My field spell. I understood that reference. Nice. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. You'll be going down in a landslide. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I watched um, Dune Part 2 the other day. I was really good. Really enjoyed myself. I look forward to the last one. All right. Reasonable. All right. These things go together. Nice. How many cards got left in my deck? 34. 34. 34. All right. Give me field spell, please. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
Activate the field spell. IPA. IPA? That's a beer. Indian Pale Ale. What are the new changes, Sam, to the ban list? The ban list changes are branded opening to one and then other stuff. I can't remember the rest. Something went to three. Right, now the question is, will he let me go into the battle phase? Let's find out. Battle. I've still got Hextrude. Oh, he did! No! Selfish man! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I just didn't think. I didn't think he'd have it. You shouldn't be allowed to get three. It should be one for everyone that you use that turn. So stupid. Activate that. Ugh. Ugh. You'll lose. Oh, changes to my deck? Nothing too much. We've only changed um, the extra deck. Honestly, I thought he'd IP before the battle phase. I really did. QB Stand, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you for the 21 months. That's nearly two years. Thank you so much. Why didn't you submit it before the battle? Because I thought he would use his IP Mascarina's effect before the battle phase. Uh, I was trying to bluff. It just didn't work. Uh... It's kind of fine, actually. Ugh. Another Max C is kind of sick. Right, five cards left in the extra deck. Surely he's running out of plays. I've applied for the replay. I can see it. We'll watch it after this. Thank you, thank you. It's not like you're going for like a job interview with that. I've applied for the replay position. We'll see how you do. I want a maxi. And I'm frightened. He's in a special summon a sprite monster. What if it's the, the one that negates effects? Oh. What if he goes for access? Ooh, okay. I think that was worth it. Can't attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting. <laughs> they ruined it. Come on, give me some decent stuff. It's all right. What's the difference between auto or on? So, on means that every possible chance that I'm allowed to react to something will be available to me, and it will let me know. Like, my Gizmeka Rochi, every time I'm able to use this effect, it will be on. Whereas, when I put auto on, it's a bit more loosey-goosey. It's more like, uh, eh, you don't have to use it there if you don't want to. Um, the, the big thing for on is it'll trigger during the declaration of the end of a phase. So, like, the main purpose of it is Nibiru can only be summoned during the main phase. So if your opponent enters the battle phase, you missed your chance. So that's one of the reasons why you want it toggled on. As just an example. Plus there's some cards you can miss the timing for if you don't do it in a very certain phase. So. I 
by field spell again. I just realized Runic is trying to deck me out and I'm decking myself out here. Not ideal. Also, um, it might have been better to, to risk the mill with Danger Jackalope. Then again, I don't want to lose Max C. I don't know. I can use this effect this way. Oh, there we go. This worked out. Ah, oh, if I could go for that. Never mind. If I could get rid of the uh, the field spell. By top of deck. So if you want to make Druglubion, you can't use both effects in the same turn, unfortunately. Would have been nice, though. Spy Max C. It's a nice card. Shame I can't use it. Dark the Dark Charmer is tempting. It just depends if it resolves, I guess. What do you do? When your opponent activates a monster effect, you can discard one card for higher. Am I getting got? Yeah. This has kind of worked out. I mean, I get to use Lightning Storm now. Oh, come on. Stop having runics. What's a screw hugging? Hugin. Oh, let's not have to have a spell trap loose, which I really need this special summon and this draw. Thank goodness. That went well. It's not bad. Oh, it's level 8 as well. Sick. We could draw Gloobion, even though we can't attack into anything. Come to me. Nice. Is there any way of me winning? Draglubion can't win because I can't attack directly. Very sad I cry. So I think it's Dingrisu. Dingrisu send field spell, make Zeus. I mean, that's the play. Or oh, I can make Harbinger. Hope for the spell negate. That's a good point, yeah. Oh, but then... I'm risking it. Oh, I wish I didn't risk it. Should have gone with Harbinger. You were right. You were right.
My greed. Should have played it safe. You're right. I should have. I should have made hope harbinger. This wouldn't have happened to me. Uh. I just thought, okay, I'll just attack these two monsters. And then I'll make Hope Harbinger and I can negate something. Nine cards left in my deck. Nine cards. I mean, I can make it even quicker duel. Think Grisu could have sent the field spell. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Dingrisu could have protected itself as well. That's true. God, I hate Runic. I still hate it. Zeus was gone. I used it earlier, did I? Oh. I don't remember using it. I did that? Oh, yeah, yeah, with Zombie Vampire. It's all coming back to me now. Why wouldn't you go for the Spell Negate against the deck that uses the Quick Play spells? Honestly, I thought they were out. I thought they'd done it all. I thought, what could go wrong here? And I found out, unfortunately. What are you going to do with Earth Band deck? I haven't, seen, I haven't seen one person play it yet. So I don't know. We got left six cards. Top deck Grand Marju attack win win game. <laughs> Maybe how many Grand Marjus I got left in the deck? One Grand Marju. Oh, try again. One Grand Marju. Two Grand Marju. Three Grand Marju. Nice nah, game. Sixty card deck. Still got decked out. Maybe we could put one necro face in there. Singular one. I have to make them. I do. You want Necroface? Who am I swapping it for, though? Punishes both decks. I guess you could hit the combo pieces. I guess you could normal summon it and have a little bit of replenish. <laughs> Watching you is making me feel better about my look. No, no offense at all. It's all good. <laughs> um, maybe one less Kaiju. Let's put in one necroface now. Let's let's go let's go slowly. Let's put just one in. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. No harm. SRs. I've got quite a lot of SR stuff. Ray Band Caesar, thank you very much for the replay. Uh, only one. This is Zombies Punk versus Snake Eyes. Identifying win conditions. Okay. <laughs> nice super polys. You Bell would be proud. Snake Eyes into the Poplar. Ash into Poplar. Poplar into the spell. Oh, okay, different spell than I normally had. Dramatic Snake Eyes. Oak. Oh. 
I think I can get. There's the original Sinful Spores. Ah, Rescue Ace. Okay. Hi, Pete. Barak Borg. Oh, it's a reasonable field. That's okay. Hold on, we're still done. Never in the graveyard. I can approve of that. Let's turn everything into a zombie. Oh, before we do that, Starving Venom, Mud Dragon. No draw for them. What's the restriction on this? Everything becomes a graveyard and what? Neither player contributes to a monster except zombies. Okay. Block Bloom into the Baladrock. Sick. Skeletal Dragon fell grand. Stealing IPs from other people's graveyards. And a banishing card. Oh, banishing cards from other people's graveyards. Waft. We do not care about that Max C. Well done. The Felgrand. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like these, like, dragons that have been zombified. It's really sick. They should do that for more. Blue eyes, zombie dragon and stuff. Nice. We got one negate with Baladrock and one banish. Hopla. Super poly again. Ah, Garura. Have a funny normal ra rare replay. Nice. Our grand's back. Okay, this Felgrand Dragon, I, I see its value now. What triggers its uh, banish ability? Sky Special Summon, you can target one monster and your opponent controls are in their graveyard. Banish it. If a monster is special summoned, while this monster is on the field, you can target one of a face up monster on the field. I think that's a negate its effect. Charmer Ablaze. Access code Torka. Okay. I assume you're going to get rid of Field Spell. No. I assume you're going to get rid of Field Spell now. Nutty. Turbulence. Set four. Set three. Right. A jackalope, a draw, and a dream. Let's go. We draw into Foxy Toon. Oh, there's a field spell on the field. Battle drop comes back. Playing into Maxi. How many cards? Nine cards left in the deck. Interesting. Unlucky. I'll drop with a negate. Oh, we got negated. Jackalope, the special summon. Two level eights into the zombie vampire. Zombie vampire mill the opponent's deck. Special summon. Special summon with a draw. Special. No, no, no. Special summon. Oh. Special summon. Yes. Opponent knows he's lost. Well done. I like that. I like how you pivoted to a, a completely different win condition there. Yeah, that was good. Caesar, thank you for the replay. Pet your shiny blue eyes. My shiny new dragon. Mimic. One card can make such a difference. <laughs> My deck has no pathetic cards. Sean Master. Seam Master. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much for the replay. Should be the only public one. New Red Eyes Arch Fiends versus New Crystals. Running on its potential. New Crystals? Oh, it's what you were talking about earlier. Um, Returned of the Tistina. What are they? Literally crystals? Looks cool. Looks very cool. Right, see them in action then. I've played against the Red Dragon Archfiend there. They do quite a lot with those. Um, they don't have a spell and a trap on the field. Slayer. Gutted for them. 
Still learning these. It bricks a lot at the moment. Plus, I don't fully understand them. I know that game. Don't you worry. It's early days. I'm going to learn the deck. Good gates. Scarlight. Red zone. That's the one. Oh, cool. Trap monster. Oh, I assume he was about to destroy them, but Soul Resonator kept them alive. I assume that's what that was. Right, Gicky. And it's back. Whoa! That's pretty sick. That's a great way to get rid of the back row. Crystal God? Oh, they're like Crystal God, Demi God. Divinity. Oh, damn. Well, that's the first time I've seen them play. So that's pretty sick. I like a chest. Demi God has a very good effect, too. So their game plan, they, they wipe the field of face-up cards. That's their, like, gimmick kind of thing. The, the rumor cannon, the deck. Okay. I understand. Russell. Thanks for watching my replay, and thanks to chat for being so nice. Oh, no worries. Chat now, mind. Warhammer, I just scrolled up and saw your replay. We'll watch it after this one. Just win. <laughs> this was the Gojo. What's the Gojo meme? Um, nah, I'd win. Oh, it's my new monster. Nice. These two things don't go together, though. Okay. Glyph's effect. Glyph, glyph. Ooh, I kind of need this to resolve. Yo, she don't do it. I got all 120 stars in Super Mario 64. I met you on top of the castle roof and you gave me 99. Selfish. Mm. I need those banishes. Maybe I could have done 1,200 damage. That's Yoshi 3000 from the future. Robot Yoshi. Trude is glued in your hand. Trude loves to be in the hand. I don't like her in the hand. I'll, I'll be honest. Just got to banish Grandmaju. What are they playing? What's this? All right, you know what? Screw my entire hand. I guess maybe I can normal summon this. Oh, but what if I get the field spell? Ah! I can get it back. I can always make... Um... Beat Cop? What's his name? Muckcracker. Oof. Hopefully we, hopefully we discard Danger Thunderbird now so we can make them waste their maxi. Oh my god! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. He took the biscuit right out of it. I don't even get my draw, do I? No. I've got a 400 attack Gren Marju, though. Screw it. No, Necroface beat down. It's on, like Donkey Kong. Oh no, I don't get a draw anyway. Because Thunderbird discarded itself. Or else you'd have infinite draws with danger monsters. I see, I see. Blackwing. Alright, Nibiru, you're going to have to come in clutch for this.
Ash Blossom is becoming a detriment to running current meta. Kind of nutty, really. I guess maybe in the TCG OCG where, yeah, Maxi isn't there. I guess it just doesn't stop enough. Like, I know Ash does, like, nearly nothing against Snake Eyes. Well, there's a lot of decks like that, really, that you can, you have to Ash them at a very specific point, but they can still kind of combo off and do all their stuff. Has it helped Snake Eyes extend? Oh, God. No, there. How does Ash help Snake Eyes? How does that work? Oh, we're putting a fire monster in the graveyard so they can go into the fire link charmer, bring back the ash so they can make something else. Is that why? Ah. Ah. Oh. Key to them, princess. Comprendo. All right. You ruin my turn, I ruin yours. His hand is such <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> I wish I did another twelve hundred damage though last turn. I don't want I don't want to waste the Grand Marju. Wait, is there a dart monster over there? I can make a dart the dart normal summon. Dart the dart charmer. Dart the dart charmer. Bring back Batwing Dragon. Three thousand attack. Can I do that? Neither of these monsters are dark. Oh, God. I'm a fool. That was my bad. Soz. Was there a fire in there I could have taken? There was. If he ends his turn, that's perfect. Ah, oh, we got had exactly three thousand four hundred then. Oh no, what two? <laughs> nice. I can make my Grand Marju a little bit stronger. Hello there, Tiger Flames. Welcome. How are you? Nice. Make my monster grow. I play Golden Castle of Stromberg. I'm not allowed to normal summon this turn, but I can special summon a fairy tale monster from my deck. I'll summon my Hextrude. What she's based on? I don't know. What fairy tale is this lady from? I haven't done the fairy tale archetype. This one, anyway. Hmm. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I've breathed in so much dust these past nine months. It's ridiculous. Right. The fact that he protected this monster. I think he's just trying to keep himself safe. Let's find out what it was. All good. Grimmarju, attack. Hextrude, go for game. The stepsister in Cinderella? Rapunzel? Witch Trude. Oh, maybe she's the wicked... One of the wicked... No, not the, the wicked witch. That's... um. Lots of replays. Warhammer, free, 4-4-3. Four, four, three. Thank you for the replay. Hey, we finally got a win. Easy clap. Big jump. We finally won one. With Necroface. Look up the Golden Castle lore. So, three cards in hand. 
That's it. That's all we got. Okay, three cards in hand. I assume they're going to snipe some cards out your hand. I assume you're playing... I was going to say Labyrinth. I don't know. Dogmatica. Okay. Oh, look. Snake Eyes. Okay, Snake Eyes with a bit of... Uh... Ooh. Okay, this one's a... Okay, okay. This one's a bit wacky. You know me. Is this going to vomit out a bunch of... Uh... Oh, God. I hate junk speeders so much. All right, here we go. Stardust Dragon. Crimson Dragon. Synchro Rumble. Axel Synchron. Just Ash Speeder, I know. Synchro Vomit. Cyframe Omega. Snipes the card. By Fenrir. Omega's back on the... Snipe another card. By Prosperity. Wow, I didn't know they could do that. Trishula! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, do you win this? They should be ashamed. That Dark Roll number was going to win so clutch. Okay, here we go. Call by the Grey, Dark Roll No More, Dogmatic Matrix. Dark Roll No More, Dogmatic Matrix. You have like the perfect hand. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. Calamity. Ecclesia. Ecclesia. Special Summon. Effect. Add Albazoa. Activate Calamity. Albazoa to the field. Killed that thing. Get rid of that extra deck. Titanic Lad. Titanic Lad. For the Lee. Well done. Warhammer, that was really good. From the dire situation you was put in. Oh, we get our cards back as well. Nice. Have a Brande Fleur. My back row. Our Ecclesias can't be destroyed by extra net monsters. Just nice to know. Majestic Star Dragon woofed. Ecclesia coming to the field. Did I just call it Ecclesias? Fleur de Lee, sorry. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Good survival. Prosp. Why would you negate the prosperity? Oh, so many options. Oh, there was like three different cards in there. That would have absolutely ruined his day. Well done. Uh, Warhammer. <laughs> well done. You literally had three cards sniped from your hand. Then you Ash Blossomed, and then you was Barond, and you still managed to... To play for it. It was very impressive. Kibbins! If you are here, I don't have your code. No code was submitted. I'm very sorry. Check it in the chat now and I'll give it a watch. Kibbins, thank you. I forgot. No worries. No worries. Warm hammer. Cheers for the, uh, for the replay, by the way. Your Heisenberg. God damn right. The old and the new deck I mashed together. Top replay. Pondo. Old and new deck. I assume Red Dragon Archfiend, unless it's Earthbound Immortals. What, what is this? I assume it's the new cards. Okay. Labyrinths. Gate Guardians. So, this is a great example of Labyrinth gameplay then. Tillaments. We've got two of the pieces on the field. Send them to the graveyard to draw two new cards. Getting them banished is not a huge deal. Ah, we've got some sinful spores in there as well. Okay. Hopla. Get 
Kariba. Love Gate Guardians. And then they get out. Hey, Meg. Nice, got the Tillam monster. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Nice, such field spell. Pseudo space. That becomes the field spell in the grave, doesn't it? Nice. I just realized, yeah, that those these archetypes do work together, don't they? That's kind of sweet. Waft. Very nutty. I guess this is the time to play Gate Guardian. Yeah, play Snake Eyes Gate Guardian. Absolutely roll people. Yeah, yeah, stop that fall in the Valbaz. Good move. Unlucky. Unlucky. Tackle continue. Or he can do that. Might as well just carry on the attacks. Shouldn't he? Alright, good survival. Well done. That's a great way to deal with Mirror Jade, I've just realized. It's literally a non threat now. I'm going to Synchron. Sprite Elf on the shelf. From they fl oh, no, no, okay. I guess you can do it during the opponent's turn. Um, protecting Baron. I can't see how they can get back into this door now. Well, especially now. Green, blue. Nice. Spell trap negates. Twice per turn. Oral load. Omni negates. Can be used four times, but once per turn. Plays. Well done. Givens, that was fantastic. Great gameplay. That makes me want to go back to uh, Gate Guardians and throw in those like Snake Eyes stuff. Huh. Boss. Kept you winning, huh? So, Big Boss, thank you very much for the replay. Uh, the only one public replay. Just a pure... Oh, it's another Gate Guardian deck. Nice. Pure Gate Guardian deck mixed with Branded. I don't know its limits yet. So we've had Gate Guardian mixed with Snake Eyes, and this is Gate Guardian mixed with Branded. Let's have a look. Wait, what's this? Is this Blue Eyes? Blue Eyes Mate, Blue Eyes Icon, Blue Eyes Thing. Okay. Blue and green. Spell and Trap Negate twice per turn. Nice. Labyrinth Heavy Tank can't attack the turn it uses a f it's when it's summoned. Good negate. Solid negate. Oh, we didn't need to negate the Xyz change tactics. It was just them putting it on the field. <clears throat> need to wait for its uh, effect to activate. Small misplay. No worries, though. Mirror Jade. Oh, easy clap, easy. 
Hold on, boss. Keeping those... What if Seto Kaiba had to duel the Paradox Brothers? Well, now we know. They'd have their day ruined. Bom, 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 bom. Can we keep this win streak up? Reach out, thank you for the replay. Right. This guy loves uh, hentai. I wonder what that is. Nice, he's found his passion though. Part of Extrav. Oof. Part of Extrav and Dangers just do not go together. Is that like a boat? I think so, yeah. Like, um, like hens, like chickens. They must have like a little tie they can put on. I'll, go I'll Google it later. I'll, um, before I go to bed tonight, I'll, <laughs> I'll Google this to find out what it is. I'll do some research. <coughs> Squeeze me. I was going to say, the labyrinth sleeves were giving it away. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> but the guy likes uh, green chicken curry, but misspelled Thai. I had um, Thai green curry for the first time the other day. I think it's really nice. I'd have it again. Play Octodad for the culture. I, you know, I watched someone play Octodad. It's a good game. Oof. I reckon there's a set transaction rollback over there. All I'm hoping that is I don't have to deal with... I can't deal with any of it, actually. Alright. Thunderbirds are dead as soon as this resolves. Vanish six. You don't want it set at all? Alright. Oh. Snake. I'm annoyed because I can't draw any cards now. I really want to. What level is um, the Labyrinth Ladies? Are they eights? It is an eight. I can't target it though. Maybe we can summon Thunderbird if we get lucky. Change your heart. Take control of one of these. Overlay into Dingrisu, maybe. Impa. He needs a uh, coup clock if he wants to activate on the same turn. So, okay, we know what that is. That's Imperm right there. I'm going to get a card sniped from my hand. As long as it's not Change of Heart, Regeki, or Danger Thunderbird, I don't care. You know what? Or Hextrude. Just don't hit Change of Heart. That's the moral. Don't hit Change of Heart. I'm begging you. Sod's Law, I know it. Oh, he went with the field spell. He can choose that. I thought it was... He had to have the field spell to, to go for the field. Maybe I'm a liar.
Oh, well, I don't know what to do now. This has confused me. I run three hex trues, and it's been in my hand every time. He can bounce. He can bounce that back right. He can't use that just yet. I genuinely don't know if he can dodge. Oh, okay. I got it. The annoying thing is I won't be able to draw. Yeah, yeah. I think I want Zombie Vampire. I can't win with Dragalubion. Is there a way I win this? I'm not too sure. Zombie Vampire. Dingrisu to Zeus? Probably would be. Imagine if I put Transaction Rollback in his graveyard now. That wouldn't be ideal, would it? Oh, he, had, he has two imperms, so that's an imperm as well. Oh, also my Dingrisu's gone. Dingrisu's gone. And my Numeron Dragon's gone. Just remembered. I guess I could put that back in the deck. I'm Zeus in. The problem is, that's an imperm, and we know that. So it might be my best interest to just insta imperm. How do you work? We know what card's in his hand. It's this. While well, you control a set card, you're probably... Never mind. Why did he let me get away with that? Why didn't you just use it? Not ideal. I was hoping to Zeus. I'm not gonna lie. I was really hoping to Zeus. Ah, fellow extravagance user. Very nice. damage oh my god <laughs> it's just the one card I don't want in my hand why But what does it taste like? Such no kill. Oof. Oof. Oof.
Come back to me, my extra deck monsters. I don't think I've got any fiends I can bring back. I'm just keeping all his extra deck back, though. I'm happy for him. I'd love to use Dart the Dart Charmer, but I know what's going to happen. I'm just going to get impermed. Um, I guess if I've got Dark, at least when it's destroyed, I'll get something. So let's get rid of that imperm in the middle. Let's do it gonna get negated imperm right there any second now as soon as i give a chance to activate actually he has a fiend on his field maybe you can bounce if you control a level eight or higher fiend it's a level seven we're all good oh wait then target one fiend monster you control or if you control a level eight or home you can target one card your opponent controls is he going to give my Radeon back? Did he not read? I read his card before he read his. <laughs> yes. Give me my monster. Give it to me. <laughs> Beautiful. One less thing to worry about. Am I right? Is this Stromberg Grand Marju deck? It is. It is. It is. He'll still summon Torby though. Oh. No. Alright, I'm emotionally prepared for the imperm. Go on then. Negate my effect. All good. I'm busy looking at hentai while dueling. In phase. Now the problem is going to be they're going to generate resources a lot quicker than I can get mine. So I think this is just going to be a a downward spiral for me. You can still destroy Dark with the Kaiju. I don't know what I'd add though. What would I get to my hand? Ariana. Banishing is your deck for the month? Yeah, it is. It's had some good moments. But I think I should have prioritized more of a... Like a macro cosmos. I mean, I could still put those in. Like macro cosmos and dimensional shifter. Might help a bit more. Like... People love stuff going to the graveyard. I think I should lean into that a lot more. Put in macro and uh, the dimensional fissure and shifter. Daruma. I can be activated this turn now. Uh -huh. Emissional Barrier, Macro Cosmos, Shifter, and the C. The C level 4. Potential Brit, though. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, let's see what we could have got. Could I add a Orochi, or is there a... Is that game? That is game. Ho! Oh. Beaten by hentai. Okay. Mm, we haven't been doing great today. Not going to lie. Reacher. Thank you for the replay. Nice blue eyes. Uh, while I didn't get to show them off, I was about to flip him face up for fun. An old friend makes a return. Which uh, which door was this? The top one? I assume the top one. An old friend makes a return. I got you, Reacher. I always assumed the top one. Interesting. I'm curious to see where this goes. Nice. Good banish, by the way. Gonna come and put some work in. Quick tip. The fountain. Oh, what did we just hit? Sorry. Infirm. Set Kribo. Interesting. Okay. I've never seen. Snake eyes have a turn like that. Okay, here we go. Here you close your face. Negated. Let's get rid of that graveyard. Okay, Cash Tira Burst is going to do tons of work. Waft. Good hits, by the way. Waft. I mean, it's nice to not be on the receiving end of this, but... Yeah, if they lose this, use the spell, it's going to ruin their day, isn't it? Right, they've got their Poplar. That makes Fenrir alive. Okay, yeah, they've lost more stuff in the grave. <laughs> Fenrir gets rid of the pop. They, they have to scoop. They have nothing. I was going to say. You took everything. Unicorn solos. Unicorn and the, the continuous spell, I think, did tons of work there. So, what did you say? You was going to flip up Karibo? So, what's with the Karibo stuff? Do you have more Karibo cards in your deck? Is that a secret uh, Karibabalon deck? Were there more? Or is that your uh, your spicy hand trap tech? <laughs> it's a Kariba Runic Kashtira deck. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, get the Karibo cards I needed. Oh. Still low. Did well enough. That is a instant 4,000 attack point Grand Marju de Iza. Depends. Okay. Set one I can live with, I'll be honest. That's pretty good for me. Ooh, set two, that's not as good, but I can definitely do some set three. Ah, oh, I don't know about set three. Set three is kind of any more than that. I'm probably going to get cooked, to be honest with you. So set, set three is probably the best place for them to set end. Uh, 
that turn there. The Kribo Brothers in Mastor? That's a really good point. They came out ages ago. I don't think they are. I don't think I've seen a single person play Curry, Bobi, Booba, and Bear. Okay. Would you Desires or Glyph first? I guess I Desires. I, I care more about the Banishes than the, uh, the draw two. Okay. Desires. We didn't lose anything important. Nice. And we got to draw. Glyph's effect. Uh, I can't summon Grimmarjo if I do this, though. Steep cost. I lost dust there. Oh, yeah, I did. I got Lightning Storm still. I keep worrying about Grand Marju not being able to be normal summoned, but as long as I get two monsters out, I make Muk Cracker special summon Grand Marju from Graveyard. Profit. Nice. All right. Activate Golden Castle of Stromberg. Activate Golden Castle of Stromberg's special ability. Can't normal summon anymore. Bring to the field. Extrude. Thank you for not being in my opening hand, by the way. I do appreciate it. Hey, Sam. Hi, Derpy Noob. Welcome to the stream. Beef stroganoff. Great meal. It's really nice. I have a crew deck. Nice. All right. What do you reckon? I say this one. That's an imperm. That's a side frame gear. Gamma. Maybe they'll put the monsters in an attack. For defensive reasons. Nope. Oh no, I got triple tap to his thrust. Beautiful, that's what I like to see. Thrust. Is your day slash night going so far? It's going okay. It's been alright, it's been alright. Did a bunch of work at the house. Got my video sorted yesterday, which was nice. Uh, I might take trade in as opposed to... Ooh, I'll take Lightning Storm. Oh no, there's a failed spell. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. I just took trade in. Imagine being me. What a mess I am. <sighs> Whatever. I didn't see it. Look, look, I can barely see it here. Don't you play Duster? Duster's dead. Dead and buried. Banished. As if I've just hit that. It's fine. I can destroy some. Let's go for the one I was originally going to go for. Called by. Right. Okay. Right. Try again. Sorry, Gren. Let's see. Um. Yeah, Kaiju Slumber. Give them an eight. I have an eight. Take control of the eight. Overlay them. Profit. Ooh. I can do that.
I'll take the Dogran. You can have the Gamma Seal. Kaiju will die. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, he will die. Yeah, you're right. Chat, I was about to misplay twice in the same turn. <laughs> How embarrassing. Yeah, right. I've got the whole gimmick of kaijus. They fight each other. Big, big battle. I can't stay side by side. Thank you, chat. Saved me from a second misplay. Maybe this lightning storm will come in clutch. Maybe I'm, I've got it ready for when he harpies. When he... I don't know. Kaijus don't do co-op. No. Couch co-op is gone for the Kaijus. Only PvP. Jet Synchron. Link Karibo. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What's he going to go into? Link to... This would have been a Hulk. <laughs> well, luckily, Hulk isn't here. Dawn of the Monsters, and it's a Kaiju Brawl. It's local co-op. Uh, a game my friend used to have um, on the PlayStation was a game called War of the Monsters. It was like a, a monster fighting game. It was quite good. I used to play as this, like, robot thing. Oh, no. Wait, he, how many cards has he got banished? One. 400 attack. Oh, no, that's not good, actually. I'm not scared of Unicorn. What could he make? Link free. Princess, probably. And then at least it's live for later. But then he might just want to keep the, the fire charm on the field. Princess into Whale. Our Grandma Ju. Interesting. I don't think he's going to read the field spell. He's reading it right now, no? He's reading it, he's reading it. He's not reading it. He's not reading it. I mean, he would he would have taken twelve fifty damage. So he actually took less damage than he would have. Touche, touche. Ah, it was a snake eyes deck all along. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, he wanted that ad. Yeah, he, he he didn't care about the field spell anyway. All right. Hi, Grimaju. Here they go. Snake Eyes Birch. Ash. 
Oak. Oak, sorry. Oak. Mate, Snake Eyes Mahogany. Are they all named after trees? Birch? Oh, yeah, they are. I don't know what an ash tree is, but oak tree, ash tree, birch. Are these wood? Ash wood? Oak wood? Ash wood? Flameberg wood? Is that real? Ash wood. Ash wood is real. Okay. Flameberg wood. Flameberg is a weapon. Oh, yeah, yeah, Flameberg. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Flameberg tree. Flameberg is a sword. I guess maybe they make the, the swords hilt out of the tree. Maybe that's the lore. So what's pop? Oh, no, no, yeah. Poplar is a tree. Which makes me wonder if I'm saying it right now. There's some plants in the background. And they got branches. Is there a sword in the picture? No. Snake Eyes Pine, Christmas of a picture tree. <laughs> picture tree, Christmas tree. Bye, deck. Okay. snake dude boss in Eldering. Oh, um, yeah, the one at the, uh, the volcanic manor thing. I know you're talking about. Rikard. Might just kaiju IP. Just get it over with. Oh, no, no, I need to extravagant. Extravagance first, then kaiju. They're called snake eyes because you, they are level one. You send two of them to do stuff like rolling snake eyes in dice. That's kind of cool. I, I guess you're right. Yeah. I never noticed that before. Never thought of that connotation. That's cool though. You're doing so much in this game. I'm just watching my opponent play. He looks like he's having so much fun. <laughs> it's my turn now. Never mind. Um, if he makes Appaloosa, which I think he will, I might be able to take control of that. I'm only annoyed because I think I might have been able to do decent work there. If he would have made Appaloosa, I could have played Change of Heart, take control of Appaloosa, and then all of the effects that he would have used now would have been dead. And then I could have used my field spell to special summon, um, hopefully my last 2800 attack point monster.
sound. Plaster is coming Sunday. Sweet. Hey, we won. Take those. They cooked too hard. Yeah, they overcooked. I forgot to turn the egg timer on. Custom. Okay. I'm into the Nibiru first turn. I like having I like having Orochi with danger monsters because I know I can dump an Orochi in the graveyard. It's absolutely fine. Alright, we're gonna do this all over again. Here we go. Alright. Summon one. Summon two. I'm just gonna immediately Nibiru, I guess. Oh man, that's gonna play into the. It's gonna be annoying. As soon as I special summon, they're gonna special summon something back. Might have to wait till the end. Or I could. No. Wait for Mask. Oh, you mean as soon as Mask Green is on the field, put it in the grave? One, two, three. They're safe from Nibiru now? Oh, because they got the field spell. Just wait for Princess. Wait for the effect of Flameberg. What, like now? Oh god, please don't say I held it down too long. Go, go, go! Oof. So, they're still gonna get some stuff. Because the Divine Temple's on the field. And because I've special summoned, I think they can do a bunch of stuff with it. Sure, attack. Oh, they can't? Once per turn, if your opponent normal or special summons a monster, you can target one monster on the field, treat it as a continuous spell, special summon it to your field. That's not how I thought that effect worked. I thought it's special summon from the grave. I comprende. Thank you. Sam, calm down. <laughs> I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm cool. Cool, man. Let me write that down as well. On the They misplayed Kek. Nice. I saw a Sinful Spoils of Betrayal set face down. Someone wants to from your hand or face up from your field to the graveyard. Target one. Find a Biru. Uh, GHX00. Thank you for the free stream streak. Appreciate it. Thanks for the channel. Necroface.
I might gamble with the Grand Marju. There's no way we hit Grand Marju. It's all the way over here. Oh, man. This sucks. That's fine. No, no snow. No snow. Um... I guess we just gamble. Let's see what happens. We got Golden Castle of Stromberg in the end. Nice. I can summon your Nibiru. Oh, with um, Divine Temple. I see. And then, have they got a fire? They don't have a fire monster on the field, which is quite nice. I've summoned, so I can't use that. Ah, yes, the negate trap. A lot to deal with here. <laughs> oh, man. What's wrong with me? Send one damp by a star monster on your head or face on your field to the graveyard. Take a face up card on the field. Negate. Just negate. Okay, it's just negated. I can still make a Zeus. No, I can't. Ugh. Um. Just give me more more stuff to draw. No, Orochi can't use both of its effects in the same turn. So I can either bring it to the field or use its um effect. Ha! Ah, no way, okay. Um Oh, this sucks. It's my turn done. My only hope is they never destroy the field spell and just attack into me. And then they don't learn the lesson. They're like, what destroyed my monster? And they attack again. And they still don't learn their lesson, and they attack again. It's my only hope. Well, I can make a big, um... 
Grand Maju now. They're going to put this in my back row. Uh, can they do that, actually? So the problem is I've, I've played into two maxis. Which has not been ideal for me. You're allergic to all these snake eyes? I think so. I'm dying to blow my nose. Hold on. There's any problem with a Orochi, it just... It's needy. I thought you were about to do something disgusting? <laughs> what did you think I was going to do? <laughs> what did you think I was going to do? Oh, you thought I was going to go like this? <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was gonna go there. Uh, I was gonna go. Oh. Oh. <coughs> that would have been funny. I wouldn't do that in my dressing gowns. I have backup. I have, I have pieces of paper here. I've got my cup. I could always have done it in there. Blowing your nose ASMR. I wonder if that's a. I know this is stuff for everything. I'm genuinely. I'm curious now. Uh, blowing <laughs> nose ASMR. Oh my god, no! <laughs> There's two videos. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. <laughs> Oh my god, it's <laughs> <laughs> Why would you search such a thing? I was curious. I want to know. I wonder if we're going to get another timeout win. That seems to be the greatest weakness of uh, Snake Eyes players. Nasal ASMR. Do you know if the Nibiru token retains its attack when summoned back from the back row? No, the. Wait. Oh, yeah. The... Wait, the token can actually become back row? I didn't know that. No, I, I would assume it had zero attack and defense if it came back. If it came back. I don't think you could do that with a token. I thought it was like a non existing monster or something. I guess just when it goes off the field. Can Borrow Load Savage Dragon negate Golden Castle of Stromberg's effect? That's if it survives for that long. It's summoned again, but not by Nibiru's effect. So I'm just ruined his search algorithm. Oh no. All right. Can Borrow Load stop it? Yeah, it can. Okay, I, I wasn't too sure. I think they're running out of time.
<laughs> Didn't expect the call by. Can only stop it once. It's destroyed though. I ain't making it another turn. Oh, it just negates? I thought it negated and destroyed. Nice. Nice. Buy 10 cards from the top of my deck. Grand Marju now would be totally awesome. Give me a break, opponent. Three maxis. Three of them things. Okay, luckily this is going to discard itself. Imperm. I'm actually very glad I, I got rid of that first. Hextrude. It's my only summon for the turn. No, I've special summoned. That's fine. Um... I can either blow up this, attack into that, and then crash into that, or <laughs> oh. Put me in my place. I learnt my lesson. Right. With D near, I assume his timer running very low. No negates on the board. Can he deal with my monster with no effects? He's just he's going my field spell. Give incarnate. I got nothing they can activate during their turn, luckily. Strong chance this timer. I'm just saying. I guess that's kind of the good thing about cards with massive text boxes. Like, they're spending all this time reading it while the timer ticks down. Oh. That's IP, not... Um... Oh, this could go into access, actually. No? They can go into Unicorn. Yes, they can. Woof, my deck's getting real thin right now. I'm going to try and make um, 
grab Marju then, I guess. Oh, no, I can't. See what he goes for. Let's bait out this now. So is this unicorn? It is unicorn. They might not go for the field spell for the simple fact that it's decking me out. Okay, they went for the fields, but ignore me. Alright, my deck is going to be so thin. I had 60 card deck, remember. 13 left. I'm about to lose another 8. I'm probably going to trigger Divine Temple. What ranks? We have all of them still. Um, we got Thingrisu, we got that spider thing. Zombie vampire. Drag Luby on time? I mean, it just depends. It depends what he's going to do with um, Divine Temple. But yes. How much attack does Drag Luby on have? Is it 10k or 8k? We actually don't have enough for game here. Can you Zeus? I can Zeus. Nine K. Oh, it's nine K. Nine, eight, seven. So we can't win. But I can manage the field next turn to so go for Zeus. Field spell does nothing. Okay, Draglubion isn't the answer because they've got a Karibo over there. They've only got 10 cards left in their deck as well, to be fair. Both running low. Dingrisu into Zeus. Zombie Vampire is an option as well. Maybe I get lucky. Wait. No, because... I've lost Thingrisu. Thingrisu isn't an option. Wait, why can't I make Thingrisu? Wait, where is he? Did I banish him? No extravagance. Did I use him early in the dorm? I forgot. I must have used him. I forgot. Do we still have Zeus in there? Yes. Zeus is there. Oh, pardon just to avoid the field spell trigger. That might have probably been the better choice again. <laughs> 
Yeah, I kind of want to use this effect, though, even though I've only got six cards left in the deck. No, we shouldn't, I guess. I can make the spider. Wait, can I can I put um, Zeus on top of the spider? Okay, so I get double. Uh, okay. Can I put Zeus on top of that? That's too much, right? Isn't it? Three, four, five. I'm having it all. I don't care. I think I got Nibiru, actually. I didn't think of that. I could cry. Five mats. One too many, but you can never have too many. Wipe the field. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, now oh, don't shotgun Zeus next turn. He has Kurokara. Yes, I do remember. He added it. Well, they always add it, don't they? But I'm going to be clever. So I'll use it in the battle phase, even though they'll, they'll steal a monster, though. I think I'm worried about. Ah. Oh. Is my monster going to go into the back row? Is there no, like, activation requirement for this thing? Surely there is. So I get one face-up monster on the field, place it face-up in your... I wish they said, like, you have to have a Sneak Eyes monster on the field or something. I don't know. There's no Nibiru. The true weakness of Snake Eyes. Oh, he surrendered. Oh. Why didn't he... Why didn't he put my monster into the back row and then win? to run out of stuff. Surely not, right? Someone not by timeouts. You outgrinded them. Woohoo! I'll take it. Um, App Chan Akia. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, thank you very much for the sub of the Twitch Prime. Thank you for supporting the channel. Appreciate it. What we got here? Mm. Glyph, glyph into field spell, field spell into the eight. We need one level eight draw. Rika. Right, okay. Where'd you get that classier icon from? It's so cute. Why? By using code. M Y G O M D twenty five. If you go to the settings option in Masterdoll, you can redeem the code for a free icon and card sleeve by also entering Y G O M D. No Y G O twenty five D L and Y G O twenty five M D. Y G O twenty five M D. I got there in the end. <laughs> Thank you, Supernova. I should be a... I sh well, I shouldn't be a promoter. I'm not very good at it. Hep, 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 hep. Can I have Lightning Storm, Heavy Storm, or a level 8 monster? I'll accept any of those things. Good enough.
could sense that Ash Blossom. That's why I didn't use Glyph first. Great wall of a hand. I understood what you were saying there. <sighs> Alas. I can't play through that. I mean, there's a lot of dark monsters, but I ain't risk. I ain't risking it. All in alert. No, I can't do it. Oh, the Snake Eyes spell was put on the bottom of their deck. That's why they didn't have it to push back the Zeus. Oh, made a critical error in my analysis then. Do it. Oh. While I'm while I remember, I need to jot some stuff down. Carver's bill. What did I buy today? It was adhesive stuff. Board. That came to 6346. 63 pounds and 46 p. Does my McDonald's meal count? Uh, this is my big carver's bill. Where's the go? Okay. Carver's bill. That's reasonable. One thousand twenty-six eighty-one. What's the what's the date today? What's the month? Uh, March. Done. All caught up. Yeah, I don't want to banish Eater of Millions, but I know it's just going to get tributed by Rika Konkan, so I'm going to need a Radeon. Dude, would you trade in or would you allure? I guess allure. Because I could get a level 8. Ooh. Nice. This is going well. You have the cute icon on sleeves. Congrats. Does the... No, the Yu-Gi-Oh! X Hello Kitty thing. I saw that on Twitter. I don't, I don't know what is the Happy Meal thing in the UK. No way would the UK do something that cool uh, for McDonald's. No chance.
I think I can win this turn. I'll do. Destroy the fields by the deck crumbles. I guess I could do that. I could link these into Nightmare, pop that. Because I don't really want Grand Marju to get dunked on. Then again, I would have liked to have banished that as well. Maybe I could have attacked, popped that, and then saved Grand Marju for next turn. They can get that field spell back. I've seen them do it. Not enough to win. Triple Tactics never got any play. That's a shame. I, f I wish I attacked, I think. I wish I attacked first. Did a little bit of damage, but banished the Rika. Was it Petal? At the very least. Mm, I can't see us winning this. It's a shame. Bum, 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 bum. Punishing power would have been pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Concentrating current. That's a cool card. Very cool card. Very uh, dual links. Very dual links. Uh, that's a defining for a while. Is there the new Drytron cards? I haven't. No, I saw some. I think it was uh, Lithium talk about them. They've got a card that's like a double negate or something. Stops um, Nibiru as well. Yeah, it should be good. I think as soon as this door ends, I'm gonna go to sleep. I have become tired. I might have a snack actually. Snack and a glass of milk. And go to bed. And then I'm up at seven in the morning. Oof. Busy week this week. Time to die. Oh wait, I live. Three, four, five, five thousand eight hundred, six thousand eight. Oh, okay, I'm alive. What's the win rate today? It's not been good. Sub fifty percent on wins, I would say. Sixty forty. Being generous as well, I think. Snake. Do I have a roach in the grave? I don't. All right. Oh, no, wait. Has he got a spell on there? He does. Um. I 
I can take talents. The problem is he'll just use that and tribute my monster. It's the only issue. All right. Jay Stark, thank you very much for the subscription. Appreciate it. Thanks for supporting the channel. Wipe the field. Now, can he... he probably can. He could, he could probably tribute my, uh, my Dogaran, right? Oh, yeah, I was ma under Max C as well. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, all right. If I'd had an Orochi in the graveyard there, we would have won. Special summon Orochi, attack for game. Yeah, Petal sucks. Go away. I knew I should have banished you. Ripple effect. Should we buy a forty card build? Maybe. The 40 card build, I worry about Golden Castle, I guess. Is that Sheet? So what's Sheet's activation requirements? All I can see is Glamour and Concon. There's Sheet. Oh, yeah. So I get a face-up monster put of controls. Also, you can tribute one plant monster. Players can activate that face-up monster's effects on the field this turn. No, I think... Hmm. The maintenance cost. I don't know. I've 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 paid like forty card maintenance cost on that thing. Yeah, I'll have to look into it then. There's definitely something not great about the sixty card version. I mean, it's 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 not terrible, but it definitely needs some fine tuning. We're kind of like stuck here at the moment, I think. All right, I'll um I'll ponder on this. I think the deck could do with a little bit of uh thinning maybe or just looking at I'll try and do it at least they didn't BM very true went straight for the kill right I'm so sleepy chat you've been awesome thank you so much for stopping by sorry I haven't been streaming much this month um, I'll try and make up for it at some point I've just been busy busy absolutely busy all right appreciate all the support today guys good gibberish <laughs> see you later thank you very much